What's up everybody, Johnny the Tech Consultant here. Today I'm going to show you another very easy, simple how-to video on upgrading your RAM. Believe it or not, this is probably the easiest thing you could do as far as upgrading hardware parts for your computer. And sadly, if you take it to a tech shop, you could, they could charge anywhere from maybe $50 on up depending on the shop, the area, etc. But here, I'm going to show you how to do it for free in literally seconds. So check it out. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to swap out RAM. Like I said, one of the probably the easiest, simplest things to do, even easier than uh, upgrading an old hard drive. So like I said, I have my old laptop here as a test model. So once again, um, the RAM now, the RAM is usually located on the underside of the laptop. Uh, in this case, mine is located right here under this little door here. Now, however, sometimes I will note, sometimes uh, like in netbooks for example the RAM is located or even on laptops they might have another stick of RAM located underneath the keyboard and this can be a little bit more tricky to get out but don't worry it's not hard uh, and if you do have a laptop in this case if you have a desktop it's all in, in the motherboard and you just take off the case you, it's very easy and simple and fast uh, but for example on a laptop if, you, if this is the case for you and your RAM is all located underneath the keyboard not a problem let me know I'll show you how to do that uh, it's very easy. It's usually just a couple tabs here that you pop out, lap, the keyboard comes out, you disconnect it, uh, and then you have access to your RAM. But in this case, I'll show you, um, I ha actually, uh, let me rephrase that. On this laptop, I do have one chip underneath the keyboard, and I also have one chip underneath. But for now, I'll just show you the, the chip underneath, because uh, most of the times, uh, both chips are underneath, so very quick and easy to upgrade the RAM in that case. So we have our laptop here. Um, you usually have a couple trays, like I mentioned in another video, here's the hard drive. Uh, of course, in this laptop, here's a hard drive. Here's the battery. Uh, and this is actually the wireless network card that you can also swap out if necessary. And here is the RAM. So if you're not sure which door it is, just you know, go ahead and open up each one and you'll see. Uh, but in this case, it's the, this is the RAM. So let me go ahead and get this uh, screw out and I'm sorry be patient with me here these micro screws can be sometimes very <laughs> frustrating not getting out but putting back in anyway so yeah I got the screw out one screw right and then all of a sudden boom door pops open here's your RAM now once again I do want to put out a disclaimer to please wear your uh, go ahead and purchase of course before you do this and wear your uh, anti-static wrist bracelet um, uh, I've mentioned in a, another video, it's simply a bracelet that you, uh, uh, it comes usually in two parts. You, uh, it's a bracelet you wear around your wrist, it has a little metal plate that touches your skin. And on that metal plate, there's like this little button that you connect a cord to. And that cord will then have a little alligator clip uh, that kind of like you've seen like when you're, you know, jumping a car for example, you're in uh, uh, battery cables. And you will clip that ugly clip to something that's metal usually that will be grounded or at least that can help uh, de, uh, to, to help take out any electrostatic that you may have in your body. Especially if you have carpet in the house, uh, this can really generate and you're wearing socks that can really generate a lot of static electricity. So you definitely want to stay, um, you definitely want to prevent any electrostatic from damaging your equipment because believe it or not, uh, to us, you know, it's getting shocked, you know, by electrostatics is not really a big deal. But to electronics, especially microelectronics, like in computers, for example, it can be very harmful, sometimes even permanently damaging and destroying the device, like RAM, especially RAM. Uh, so you want to uh, just make sure you wear that. And once you wear that, you're fine. You know, you don't have to wear any special gloves or anything. Just make sure you're wearing your bracelet. But th in this case, uh, this is an older laptop. Uh, I'm just using it as a test model, so uh, that's why I'm not wearing my bracelet, because if I damage it, you know, <laughs> I don't really care. All right, so... Uh, in this case, we have the uh, an older DDR1 chip of RAM here, and um, so after you take off the the uh, lid, you'll see your RAM. Uh, sometimes, like I said, the lid will will cover two uh, slots for RAM, so you have like one here and one behind it, or maybe one this side, one this side. You know, depend on the configuration of your uh, of your uh, computer. So in this case, but usually they all have these little tabs here. So uh, if you'll notice. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Let's see if I can show you these little tabs. If you notice, there's a there's a tab here and a tab here. These little metal tabs here. Uh, all you simply do is you can even use your finger. Just pull back on it, and it will release. And do it again for the other side. So 
Okay. And then, oops, that one went back. But anyways, that you pull back on both sides, it'll release, and the, the uh, stick of RAM will automatically pop up uh, because I guess there's a spring in there that will help it. Uh, well, actually, yeah, it's being held down by these clips. So when you pull the tabs back, it'll automatically pop up at an easy-to-access angle, and you simply always and only grab the sides. Never touch the chips. Uh, of the actual RAM or anywhere on the actual board itself like anywhere here on the terminals or anything like that never touch that always grab the side of the board um, that way if you did have any electrostatic energy in you even after wearing a bracelet for example uh, you want to damage your your RAM or also you won't get uh, oils uh, from your skin on it because we actually you know the human body produces oil and you definitely don't want that on your terminals as well that can perhaps interfere or block some uh, uh, you know signals through getting through etc so uh, let's say this is the old stick of RAM or like, yeah, like for example this one right here is a half gig so let's say I want to put a one gig stick in or in this case now we have you know TDR3 of course uh, so let's say I want to put a, a four gig stick uh, or two gig stick of RAM let's say uh, a new two gig stick in in each slot or in this case I only have one slot on this side here so I'm gonna put a two gig one in this one slot so I would simply grab the new RAM you know in the same way uh, and also remember it is slotted so it prevents you from putting it in backwards if you notice this little slot right here uh, that means that way you cannot put it in backwards it will simply not go in because on the uh, in the uh, uh, motherboard itself here and the bracket in the socket there's also that slot as well to, and then and it's fixed so of course you can only put it in one way so it's very simple and easy so you got your let's say this is the new RAM I mean put out the old I got the new RAM right always remember to grab it like this and uh, I simply put it back in just the opposite of how I got it out um, slides right in just like that and in this case putting it in is even easier than take it out because once it's in all you simply do is push down and it clicks into place boom and as soon as you hear that click, you can of course make sure it's, it's put in on both sides. But as soon as you hear the click, you know it's in. And that's it. And then simply put the case back on, or in this case the uh, cover back on. Uh, and put on the little screw. And like I said, these micro screws are very frustrating to get in. So bear with me here. I just have to make sure you line it up right. Or if you have a magnetic screwdriver, that's even better. Put the screw in. Uh, don't over tighten it, of course. Don't torque it down. These are very small little sockets and screws, and you could easily strip it or break it. So it doesn't need to be in tight. Just make sure. I mean, make sure it's a normal tight, not extremely tight. Uh, and anyways, yeah. Once you're good to go, and once you're done, you're good to go. And it's it's even that much easier. There's nothing to set up. Uh, like for example, uh, when you're um, installing a new hard drive, you know you have to simply install the operating system as well, which is of course not hard. But there's not you don't have to do anything. All you simply do is install the RAM, turn back on the computer, and you are good to go. The operating system, like I said before, will automatically detect everything, and will immediately detect that you have more RAM. Matter of fact, your BIOS will even detect that you have more RAM, and you'll immediately start benefiting from the performance gains, and you'll should be able to see that immediately as well. So it's one of the easiest, coolest, and uh, best ways to, if you ever want to upgrade the performance of your laptop. Upgrading the RAM, swapping out an old hard drive for a new SSD, keeping up, you know, upgrading your operating system, keeping it up to date. Uh, that can really, uh, you can really uh, see performance gains uh, instantly by doing stuff like that. Oh, and I did want to mention as well, when you are taking out uh, your RAM for example or any other components uh, like a hard drive but especially your RAM that's where the chips are exposed and the actual board of the uh, the uh, PCB board there uh, the, uh, is, the board itself is exposed on the RAM you never want to take it out and just like sit it on the carpet or or something that might have also have a little bit of electrostatic in it because it could discharge and like I said permanently damage your new uh, component there so instead you always want to use now you can get uh, this electro electro or the electric static mat that can uh, that will prevent any electrostatic from occurring, or you can uh, simply in this case if you don't have that, um, I, I, believe, I believe you can buy those mats for pretty cheap. But if not, you can also get a uh, I'm sorry, you can also use the uh, package itself of the RAM, and uh, usually the inside part of the package 
will be fine. Um, the outside, on the other hand, you might not want to sit it on. You know, she usually just comes in plastic anyways. Um, but just in case, you know, there might be some grime or something on the outside. So instead, when you open up the package of RAM, you know, it's it'd be usually in plastic. Just, you know, you can always keep the RAM in the plastic. Uh, that way, you know, when you're working with it, like the old one, you, when you're taking the old one out, save it, put it on the inside of the plastic. And of course, you know, the new one you're removing from the plastic as well. Um, so that way, you don't have to worry about any electrostatic discharge. Okay. Okay, so that's it. All you gotta do is reboot your computer and your operating system will automatically detect the RAM and you should start seeing performance gains immediately. Like faster boot up times, faster shutdown times, uh, faster internet page load times, and just whenever your computer needs to work with RAM in general. Uh, it's like I said, it's one of the easiest things you could do, yet very beneficial, especially in today's world where it's a lot of things require more system resources, more RAM, etc. Uh, I recommend every computer nowadays, laptop or desktop, have at least 4 gigs uh, just to operate efficiently in the various um, things that you may do. For example, like uh, for web browsing or video editing or gaming, especially gaming. You, gaming, you usually want more RAM actually, but uh, stuff like that. So, Alright guys, so this has been another how-to video of mine. If you like it, please hit that subscribe button and please let me know by hitting that like button as well. And if you want to have a discussion with me, please leave a comment below or you can uh, suggest something for next time or you can talk about technology or whatever. Let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys soon. All right. So thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.